What's up, Robotics? This is Fagan. Um, it's uh, Wednesday, March, actually April 1st, and um, I am just uh, creating a video for next week um, ahead of schedule here. So um, this is what uh, we'll look at today here. Um, so last week, uh, I said that you're welcome to make up or redo any past work, right? Um, so that's still true. You just look on Skyward, click the Skyward title, see what it says I was grading for, um, and then, um, yeah, do that thing or, like, talk with me about retaking it if it's like a test or whatever. Um, and Carlos, I'm going to get, get to you soon if I haven't already. Um, and then, um, yeah, the other thing was downloading, checking out Fusion 360. Okay. Uh, lastly, there was a secret extra credit opportunity. Um, if you took advantage of that, great. Uh, I just need to know the assignment you want the points on. Um, if you did not... Uh, sorry, it's come and gone, uh, but you do have a new extra credit opportunity this week, all right? Um, and again, it's it's only a week long, so the due date is a hard due date, and that will be 11.59 p.m. on April 12th, all right? Um, so I'm going to talk about that in a sec here. It's, it's where it says EC for extra credit. Uh, okay, so your three tasks for this week. One is choosing whether to model uh, your clawbot or your latest robot on Fusion 360, okay? Um, so... Um, there's advantages, disadvantages to both. Nice thing is if you do the clawbot, you should already have the frame complete pretty much, uh, based off what we did in class, like last semester. Um, so that'd give you kind of a head start, even though there's a lot of like details to the clawbot. Um, and I'm just looking for like the clawbot without the sensors, right? Um, but then if you want to do your latest robot, like that you were building for in the, uh, not in the zone, Starstruck competition, um, you would you know, have to start from scratch, but you might have fewer piece, pieces on that than what you have on the Clawbot. Um, also, you might have to modify some of the pieces for that because I know some of you had shorter, like, um, uh, one hole uh, bars or whatever they call that, uh, strips, and um, shorter, like, other pieces too, right? Um, okay, so that's, that's that. You just need to choose this week. So that's easy enough. Then I want you to practice simple assemblies on Fusion 360. Um, it says that you may need to set up Google Drive or Backup and Sync on your MacBook. All right, so I'd like you to give that a shot this week. Um, and um, yeah, because uh, you can probably access those things already on your MacBook, but um, in order to mess with files from your Google Drive in something like Fusion 360, you need to have Backup and Sync set up on your computer. So it's gonna look like uh, this when you're done. All right, see how it says backup and sync? Uh, you can probably get that from manager. It's probably fine. All right, e either that or just go to drive.google.com and um, uh, like maybe when you're not logged in and then you want to tell it you want to download it or something. Okay, uh, so more on that in a bit. Let me get back to where I was here. Uh, ooh, I got this. There we go. Um, but uh, the last part of that is something I'm going to be working on, and I'll have to roll out probably another video for you. It's about how to convert um, IPTs and um, IAMs from Inventor to Fusion 360 files. All right. Um, so uh, I will let you know how that works, um, and I'll probably create a video on how to do that. Um, if you want to figure it out on your own ahead of time, that's great. Go for it. But uh, the extra credit, here it is. Basically, uh, this week's extra credit, it's going to pop up on the stream, you know, uh, on the day you're seeing this, uh, is to develop a way to, sh to slow or prevent the spread of a virus that is creative and new. Okay? So you can find that assignment on there. I think for you guys, I'm giving you like 10 points extra credit. Um, so, yeah. All right. Um, more to come. Uh, those are your three tasks for this week, just choosing which one you want to do. Uh, practicing putting assemblies together on Fusion 360. I've already got a lot of videos up about stuff on there. Um, and then the extra credit. All right. But um, yeah, don't forget you got to set up Google Drive. And I'm going to get you some more information about how to import um, like your inventor files, especially those VEX files we had, uh, both the parts and the assemblies into Fusion 360. All right. Peace.